It's very important to choose which skill to level up first at level 1. For fees, you should always choose second skill first. I'll tell you why. In a splash. I won the trade because of my second skill and ignite. If I chose third or first skill to level up first, then it would be a different outcome. Also, does it mean that if I didn't kill him in ignite, it's a waste? No, it's not. As long as the enemy is much lower, then you'll have the kill pressure. I'm already level 2 and I can take first skill to kill him. If my minions is more than his minions, that means my wave is pushing to his side slowly. In order to reset the wave at the center, I will quickly shove this and let his turret shove my minions. The wave is at the center now. Zed decided to fast push when I recall. But I returned at the right time. I have the item advantage after that first blood, so I will try to commit the trade. Face vs Z is a skill matchup which means whoever gets wild play wins. Here's a hard matchup which is against Yasuo and I'll show you what I did to win the lane. Oh, shit. That gun makes it even harder for me in laning. Now I have to play safe and freeze the wave close to my turret. Now we strike. I can trade against Yasuo when his passive shield is active. He's also good at poking at close range, that's why I keep my distance. Minion wave is closer to my side and the number of my minions to his is the same, which means the wave is perfectly freeze. The reason why I'm freezing the wave close to my turret isn't just about playing safe, but I'm also setting up a gank since Yasuo extends more in lane. Jax is coming for a gun. At least the wave is closer to my side, so he can escape easily. Alan slain. Alan slain. You have slain an enemy. For fees, JC is even harder match up than Yasuo, and because of the micro outplays that I did, I was able to win against him. I will only last hit now. The goal here is to take as much golden XP while taking minimum damage. Sidestep is a simple counter to Jace's first skill, which is his highest damaging skill. Dodge his first skill in melee form, proc electrocute, and back. I definitely won that trade. I'm pulling the wave and press it close to my turret again to set up a gank for our jungler Ramos. He's smart to flash immediately before he gets stunned. In game 2, against Yasuo, he underestimated our burst damage. An 
I can only win because of level difference and the fact that he has no flash. They won't catch me. With that max range for maximum damage, Dutch is knocked back and he's dead. No fear. You have slain an enemy. Fizz is much stronger compared to Katarina when it comes to trading. But good Katarina players will just poke you with first skill until you get low enough. <laughs> Katarina's trading pattern is quite predictable and I easily dodge it. Knowing your enemy's trading pattern will make you a better laner. Let me show you another interesting skill matchup. I avoid Diana when she uses her second skill, which is shield. It was a mistake trading with her, but just one level above. She got turret hit and I can take advantage of her mistake. That's your first skill, then follow her flash. 